September 26, 2022. Thanks for starting your week with us. I'm George Gerbo. U.S. and Ukrainian officials say they take Russian President Vladimir Putin's threats of nuclear war seriously. Pentagon correspondent Ben Wolfgang reports fears are mounting that Russia's recent military defeats in Ukraine could lead Putin to dramatically escalate the conflict. Russian officials in the past have made veiled references to nuclear weapons, but leaders and national security insiders across the U.S. and Europe say Ukraine's recent successes on the battlefield, along with growing frustration inside Russia toward Putin and his war, make it more likely that the Kremlin could take desperate actions to turn the tide. The Department of Labor says states paid out billions of dollars in pandemic unemployment claims to more than 200,000 applicants whose Social Security numbers indicated they were deceased. Stephen Dynan reports the Labor Department's Inspector General said 1.7 million claims were paid to people who filed from suspicious email addresses. Nearly 1 million more claims were paid to Social Security numbers that were submitted in multiple states. That's an indication of fraud because the law allowed someone to claim the enhanced pandemic unemployment benefits in a single state at one time. All told, the audit concluded the claims accounted for more than $45 billion in potentially bogus unemployment payments during the first two years after the onset of the pandemic. The search is on for ways to increase water supply as the West struggles with a third year of drought. Valerie Richardson reports the drought is compounded by intensifying pressure to cut through red tape on infrastructure projects and land management overhauls as conservation efforts plateau. More than 41% of the continental United States is in drought, according to figures released last week by the National Drought Mitigation Center. Most of the West and Midwest are experiencing abnormally dry or worse conditions. The Colorado River, which provides water to seven western states, has lost 20% of its volume over the past century. Its two largest reservoirs, Lake Mead and Lake Powell, fell to historic lows this year, prompting the Bureau of Reclamation to order a second year of cuts in water consumption. Climate advocacy groups argue the shortages are part of a long-term shift to the aridification of the American West, driven by rising carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. You can read all of these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. You can also find the entire lineup of Washington Times news, sports, and commentary podcasts at WashingtonTimes.com slash podcasts. A former FBI agent claims that the Bureau's counterterrorism investigations targeting suspected white supremacists and right-wing extremists are mostly entrapment operations. Kerry Pickett reports the accusation comes from Kyle Serafin, who worked for the Bureau for six years but was recently suspended. The FBI said Serafin's accusations of entrapment were baseless, saying in a statement, This comment is inaccurate and represents a clear misunderstanding of the policy and practice in FBI investigations. Serafin said he was suspended and placed on administrative leave at the FBI after run-ins with his supervisors. And finally, Republicans, who are favored to take control of the House in November, rolled out an agenda Friday that was endorsed by Trump allies, even though Republican leaders didn't mention the former president by name. Susan Fericcio reports House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy announced a plan called the Commitment to America at an event south of Pittsburgh. It echoes former Republican House Speaker Newt Gingrich's Contract with America plan of the early 1990s. Increasing border security, bolstering domestic energy production, Lowering crime rates by hiring more police officers and supporting parental rights in schools were key components of the plan. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app. And find us wherever you get your podcasts. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at WashTimes for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo. 